Happy new week, guys. You know we can't let you start off this brand new week without bringing you up to speed on everything, and I mean everything that happened over the weekend. You know a lot happened, but before we get into it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and catch all of our content firsthand. We'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. You know how we do it. The lady JQ is in the building. All glam. Yeah. Bright and bubbly. <laughs> <laughs> I hope your week is bright and bubbly as your outfit. Hopefully, my weekend was same. That was good. Yes, let's get into it, guys. So, you know, a lot happened this weekend. And we're hey. going to kick it off. Mm. <laughs> With you know who? He who must not be named on Amya TV. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Shatawale. It's still in the news, apparently. He's mm. back in Ghana and he has decided that he's going to be trending for the rest of the his time. life. <laughs> That's his anthem. Yes, so over the weekend on United Showbiz, mm. Shatawale was the guest. And of course, with the usual panelist, Arnold, Asamoa Bedu, and some two other guys. Um, Halifax. Halifax. Mm. And um, the guy who kept drinking, oh, what's that? Kofi Asamoa. Mm. I like his vibe on the show, by the way. I only care for the juice, <laughs> not the drama. Minding my business. <laughs> But yes, things got quite heated on the show, mm. and Shatawale, in his usual manner, decided to throw jabs at um, Arnold. Mm. Instead of, you know, um, arguing based on logic, he mm -hmm. decided to go below the belt and add some insults to it. Mm. And were you surprised? There was no surprise there, however. However, I felt that... It was just a bit overboard because we yeah. see it on his social medias. But United Showbiz is a show that is like watch the whole nation. So yeah. to sit on such a platform and throw such low jabs was just uncomfortable to watch. But it was not surprising. But do you agree? A lot of people have the uh, notion that what the confused and the you know disrespect comments that Arnold used were below the belt. How is that below the belt? To me, it is not below the belt because yeah. that is how he understands I mean, Shatawale. Yeah. Yes, Shatawale as an artist. That yeah. is how he perceives him to be. So in raising his points, he's trying to say that this and this is what he does. That makes me feel like, you know, he's, he's confused, confused or he's inconsistent, inconsistent with yeah. what he does. That is his understanding. Yeah. If Shata is to say that um, Arnold is not professional because of certain things he does. That would be fine. But to look past that and go to use the where's poor, you, you, have, you have a house, house you have a house. See the 50 peso shoes and all that. There's, there's no critical thinking in that. Anyway, his comments got social media roaring. You know how it happens mm. when Shatawale is in the news like that. And at the end of the show, they were hugging. Mm. And to me, personally, I was like, why would you sit down, throw so much disrespect on somebody, and at the end, hug the person? Well, and then people keep saying, oh, that's maturity. That's how it's supposed no, to be. No, I, I don't like, feel it's maturity or anything. I just feel like things happen behind the scenes after the show that we didn't get to see. Okay. That is what I honestly feel. That's why they came back Yes, to that, that's why the, the hug came. Because if indeed they were as angry as each other as we saw on set, they, said, yeah. they couldn't have immediately you know, been that friendly if there was no apologies or no words said or yeah. no mediation happening. But I feel things happened behind the scenes and then that led to it to, you know, to the union that we saw. And at the end of the day, it's good to see them have that understanding because yeah. it just shows that one is mature, one is not. I want to ask you this question. Is Shatawale above the Ghana media? He feels he is. But I always say there would be no Shatawale if there was no Ghana media. That's it. <laughs> That's the, the phrase. That's, mm. you know, how we can conclude this particular story. But yes, yeah. still on that story... After the whole brouhaha, people went on social media to express how they felt about the whole situation. And Hama um, decided to write a, a whole book. A whole book. It's literally Jesus. a book. A book of. And the long and short of it all is that he doesn't agree with Arnold. Mm. And that Arnold came low mm. by calling Shatawale confused mm. and inconsistent. Mm. Based on that, Arnold was not in the right. Mm. For me, yeah, my point is, like I, I said earlier, you can make your your, your, your arguments or from your perspective, yeah. but then let it be, you know, logical. 
if right. you are saying that this is why it is wrong, give us reasons why what you are saying is wrong. But coming to say that Shatawale created the business when the whole industry was Shabazio. against him and all of that, it's, it's, it doesn't go in line with what even the basis of the Arnold and the, the Shatawale argument was all about. Yeah, so, which comes to, you know, sort of buttress the points that... Ghana, we don't argue for logic. We mm. argue to say... With that, emotions. And this one is right. Right, and this is wrong. wrong. Yeah. Anyway, Arnold did not keep quiet on this particular Hammer issue. Mm. He came back and said, yo, Hammer, I don't know what you are saying, but he yeah. jabbed Hammer. Yeah. He was let, like, let's, let's read what he said. He said, LOL, leaders, yeah. leaders, are we... We are fucked up. Yeah. Sorry for the word. We are fucked. Um, the Hammer, for a moment, I wish you were my peer contemporary anchor. You will clap for me. Out of the reverence of your legendary, legendary status, which I have now limited to works and not brains, I will let you sleep easy, very, very easy. Which mm. to me is is boot to boot. Because yes. already he had been on the TV and then he had been quiet and tried to be mature. So he coming come hard up. to meet what Hammer said was yeah. only right. Because you wouldn't just take a ride because you think, oh, I'm going to act mature and not yeah. respond. Yeah. I thought that was where <laughs> Arnold was coming from when right. it comes to Hammer and all of that. Hammer uh, did not let it lie. He came back yeah, again and said, you know, why do writers always have this perception that brains is only English grammar? So he's trying... You know, no, but he wrote English. Yeah, and you just the same English. English you wrote. Please, let's move on. Please, we are moving on. We are moving on. <laughs> <laughs> we are moving on. We are moving on. And what is trending on Ghana Twitter today is fix the country. Still, it is still trending. Although Ghana is yet to go to the streets to actually mm. protest, you know, bad governance and all that in Ghana. The people of Spain said they can't wait. Mm -hmm. And they have taken to the streets. So, mm. um, Ghanaians in Madrid... Um, protested over the weekend to fix the country. So they want a lot of things fixed in Spain mm -hmm. for Ghanaians. And I think the most intriguing things I saw on their, some of their placards were the fact that the Ghana embassy in Spain was purely trash. Let me put it that way. Mm. And that they take money, they are thieves, they extort money from mm. them and all that. And it's like the Ghana situation now near the coach. Like, even if we fly out of the borders of the country, we still the take our The system of governance is yeah, literally still... the same, corrupt. Yeah. And it's not delivering and all of that. Let me ask you, now that Spain has been able to successfully hold, you know, the protest, do you think it's going to ginger the Ghanaian one to happen I, faster? I think it's it's rather the other way around. Is the is the energy with which the Ghanaian ones are still fighting for the right to protest that has, you know, motivated the the Spanish yeah. Ghanaians to also take, you know, the fault. I mean, if those home are going through all these legal battles just to protest, if we yeah. have the ability, we are also going to use that to voice out our, 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 our needs and our concerns. So I don't think it's the other way around. I think it's the Ghanaians motivating them. But then what I feel it does for the Ghanaians is also show to them that even with all these obstacles, there are people who are far away and fighting for DS. So we can't give up, we shouldn't give up, and we should go all the way. And I think that's just what they're going to do. Yeah, meanwhile, if you are stepped out of court today, mm. you know, the case is still in court. I mm. said, Mo. Amo bre. Fix the country, country but, convey. You know, if once, you. once you've started something, yeah. you can't I think give that's, the, that's so. the determination a lot of people like about the convenience. Because yeah. after all this legal in bail, bail yeah. out, people would have thought they would have given up. But they are still going strong. So hopefully there's good results. Yes. Now somebody who is not really trending, but of course certain things that he said are quite, you know, of interest to Ghana, uh, Ghanaians. Kabina Kabina was at Amiya TV studios over the weekend and in the interview he made some um, in an interview with the most, is he not? It's a hard <laughs> error, he made some very, very... <laughs> if you haven't seen it, please, it's on our YouTube. Yep. Go and watch right now. Yeah. But yeah, um, the issue of gay, mm. the LGBTQ community. You remember when they um, closed down their offices? Mm. He came out and he was attacking the clergy and all mm -hmm. of that. And people read it to mean that he was supporting mm -hmm. the gay people. But also he, because they had already alleged he was gay because he had painted nails and all of that. And very cliche. Yes. That <laughs> but then he comes and then we are talking about it and he says, nope. You guys misconstrued what I said. Mm. I didn't mean it to say that I'm supporting them, but the loss of Ghana, no. Whatever mm. is against the loss of Ghana. I'm against it. Yeah. Do you think he doesn't want, now that he's, he has a new album coming out, he doesn't want it to say anything that might kind of like be like a backlash and affect everything? Because LGBTQ is like the hot topic mm -hmm. now, and I think it's going mm -hmm. to go on for... Mm -hmm. 
a long time. And they are still facing the same, you know, um, obstacles they face, face when you made those statements. Yeah. Then, so then sadly, why they change? For yeah. me, I feel, like you said, the album is coming. You don't want to be seen as bad in the eyes of the majority, which the majority is those who are against the, the LGBTQ. LGBTQ. So his reason for me is an excuse to save himself and to save face. But like we, 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 you, we said earlier, it's his perspective, it's his understanding and what he thought was right at the moment. So if he says that he did it because he just wants to attack the clergy and not because he's fully supporting them, on to you, Kwabna, Kwabna. <laughs> now, our last trending story, which will be of major interest to you people, mm -hmm. we know. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Keke. Miss, <laughs> Miss Abena Koko, after releasing list upon list, you know, <laughs> relapsing, not relapsing, coming back to her normal self, the whole, you know, bruhaha, mm -hmm. um, appeared on Date Rush. The Did very, the no. very controversial. TV3 decided that let's ride on her. Are you sure TV3 yes. decided? Yes. <laughs> Maybe it was already scheduled that that is the day, and then it just happened to have coincided right. with yeah. the trend. Yeah. I don't think with how they ended, they, mm -hmm. they would deliberately. And yes. also because it's a pre-recorded show, you sure. know it's already planned mm -hmm. out. So maybe even taking out an episode might have affected their schedule, schedule. of, you know, pre yeah. showing them the series. So yeah. maybe I'm, I'm also sure they might have reached out to her one way or the other to, you know, like Ask if you're yeah okay with yes us yes doing this i mean now. logically there's no way so? yes i i really believe so but yes <laughs> uh -huh. of course appearance on the show got a lot of people interested mm. there was widespread of you know people actually watched and people were some people said they are disappointed after that particular episode because they wanted to see more. more i think so i think they were they thought, because they have the whole notion of the right and I, I think they actually thought it it's live, so they were oh. expecting that Abina Koko will come in with the drama. Drama from the, yeah. I mean, that's what we yeah. always say. Guys, most of the content you see on TV, unless it is live, live, they are mostly pre recorded Recorded. Months before yeah. they are edited and, uh, you know, released. So if yeah. you think she's going to bring all that drama, sorry to have disappointed you, she didn't. But then it's good that, for me, I think what I took away from that whole episode and what I like was the fact that it showed her in a healthy, happy Abna, Abna Koko, Koko mood. Yeah. Not, you know, sad, depressed, dealing with drama, Abna Koko. And that's yeah. what I feel a lot of people should look at. The fact that during those moments, during those shoots, she was a happy self. She yeah. was, you know, she had no worries and yeah. nothing to relapse about. Mm -hmm. And then just wish that she can get back to that Abna Koko that day. So, yeah. basically. I didn't watch, but comments from social media, they seem to agree that she was dropping some relationship gems as well mm. on the show mm. during her appearance. Mm. Well, I mean, she's always been taught her to be intelligent, so yeah. it's not surprising. Okay, so someone who wasn't happy about the fact that her episode was, you know, aired just like immediately after her mm. relapses, the one and only Lydia Forcing. A.K.A. Queen of Yeah, so Apologetic. she was um, someone by the name J. Ebrefi Jebi. Um, wrote on Facebook that TV3 promoting an episode of Date Rush for this week with Abina Koko when she worked with them to jump on the hype around her this week, really. Mm -hmm. And Miss Lydia commented saying, it's a ratings game and not sentimental. It's why I treat the media with the same regard. They don't care about anyone. Next week, Seth, they will do a show on mental health. But then my point is, what, how do they understand the media? What, 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 is the, what is their concept and their understanding of the media? Because that is what the media is there to do. If there is an issue, the media is to dissect it, educate people, entertain people. So when you say you treat the, the media with the same regard, they should just imagine the world without the media. Where would her movies be? Oh. End of story. <laughs> but yes, guys, uh, we hope you enjoyed this week's episode uh -huh. of Trending GH. And we'll catch you same time next week. But mm. don't forget... Subscribe button. We need it. And follow yeah. us on all our social media. Me on TV, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Oh, you I'm already on know. TV. Thank you. We Bye. out. <laughs>